Manitoba Hydro completed the project in 1976. It raised the water level of Southern Indian Lake by about three meters, and it flooded 837 square kilometers. According to OPCN chief Shirley Ducharme, the diversion wiped out a successful commercial fishery and had a negative effect on the lives of some 1,100 people. How can we continue to teach our, you know, traditional, traditional ways uh, and, uh, you know, our cultures with the, we see continuous la of our land washing away on a daily basis. So, you know, it's, it's still, you know, very hurtful. This is a lifelong destruction. And you can't put money value, you know, uh, and say this is, this is uh, you know, compensation, and we can't accept it. Chief Ducharme says they haven't put a dollar figure on the compensation they're seeking. The South Indian Lake Fishermen's Association said in the joint news release, the Manitoba government and Manitoba Hydro have succeeded in doing what the federal government and churches have not been able to do in the last 500 years, and that is the cultural, social, and economic genocide of the people. In an emailed statement, Manitoba Hydro said, quote, as this matter is before the courts, Manitoba Hydro will not provide any comment. Our statement of defense will be filed in due course. The claim by OPCN, the South Indian Lake Community Association and the Fishermen's Association seeks compensation for damages and that Manitoba Hydro restore the ecological integrity of Southern Indian Lake. It was filed on May 19th. Manitoba Hydro has 20 days to respond. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Winnipeg.